So the war on cancer um, began in 1971 when uh, the Congress passed what's referred to as the National Cancer Act. And Richard Nixon signed it on the 23rd of December 1971 as a Christmas gift to the nation. It was a, um, the brainchild of, of uh, Mary Lasker, a very wealthy uh, philanthropist, lived in, in um, Greenwich uh, nearby, among other places. And um, it, it was a very controversial program for a lot of reasons, uh, one of which is it, it um, proposed that the NCI, the National Cancer Institute, be taken out of the National Institutes of Health and given to a separate agency reporting directly to the president. It, it proposed that the FDA control of drugs be shifted to the National Cancer Institute for cancer drugs. And it was controversial for one other big reason, and that is that Mary Lasker, to get it through Congress, and she had great influence uh, in the Congress, um, promised that if they passed the Cancer Act, that we would eradicate cancer by the bicentennial. Now, nobody nobody believed that was true. We, I don't think Mary did either. But no scientists believed that was true. No, no scientists believed it was true. Yeah. I think members of Congress uh, trusted Mary and thought that that would be the case. The press believed it for about you know, 30 days, uh, and afterward, we know, uh, lived down that particular promise. So it was, it was a, a very controversial program. It put $100 billion of your tax dollars into uh, cancer research. And uh, so this, this, this book is really about my trek through the, the war on cancer.